Sarach, Ecclesiasticus, 31. Watching for riches consumes the flesh, and the care thereof drives away sleep. Watching care will not let a man slumber, as a sore disease breaks sleep. The rich has great labor in gathering riches together, and when he rests, he is filled with his delicates. The poor labors in his poor estate, and when he leaves off, he is still needy. He that loves gold shall not be justified, and he that follows corruption shall have enough thereof. Gold has been the ruin of many, and their destruction was present. It is a stumbling block unto them that sacrifice unto it, and every fool shall be taken therewith. Blessed is the rich that is found without blemish, and has not gone after gold. Who is he? And we will call him blessed. For wonderful things has he done among his people. Who has been tried thereby, and found perfect? Then let him glory. Who might offend, and has not offended? Or done evil, and has not done it? His goods shall be established, and the assembly shall declare his alms. If you sit at a bountiful table, be not greedy upon it, and say not, There is much meat on it. Remember that a wicked eye is an evil thing, and what is created more wicked than an eye. Therefore it weeps upon every occasion. Stretch not your hand whithersoever it looks, and thrust it not with him into the dish. Judge not your neighbor by yourself, and be discreet in every point. Eat as it becomes a man, and those things which are set before you, and devour not, lest you be hated. Lest, rather, leave off first for manners' sake, and be not unsatiable, lest you offend. When you sit among many, reach not your hand out first of all. A very little is sufficient for a man well nurtured, and he fetches not his wind short upon his bed. Sound sleep comes of moderate eating. He rises early, and he is, his wits are with him. But the pain of watching and choler and pangs of the belly are with an unsatiable man. And if you have been forced to eat, arise, go forth. Vomit, and you shall have rest. My son, hear me, and despise me not. And at the last you shall find, as I told you, in all your works be quick, so shall there no sickness come unto you. Whoso is liberal of his meat, men shall speak well of him, and the report of his good housekeeping will be delivered, rather will be believed. But against him that is a niggard of his meat, the whole city shall murmur, and the testimonies of his niggardness shall not be doubted of. Show not your valiant valiantness in wine, for wine has destroyed many. The furnace proves the edge by dipping, so does wine the hearts of the proud by drunkenness. Wine is as good as life to a man, if it be drunk moderately. What life is then to a man that is without wine? For it was made to make men glad. Wine, measurably drunk and in season, brings gladness of the heart and cheerfulness of the mind. But wine, drunken with excess, makes bitterness of the mind with brawling and quarreling. Drunkenness increases the rage of a fool till he offend. It diminishes strength and makes wounds. Rebuke not your neighbor at the wine, and despise him not in his mirth. Give him no despiteful words, and press not upon him with urging him to drink. 